our website at nintendochitchat.com and catch up on everything Nintendo. Hello Nintendo Chit Chatters, I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to this video of a game called Knighton Plus on the Nintendo Switch. In fact, it's available right now in the Nintendo Switch eShop, so check it out if you're interested. We're going to be doing a gameplay and impressions video of the game for you. Uh, this game, the description is as follows. Uh, Join Brave Sir Loot a lot. I like the name. Uh, on his epic quest in this little adventure. Explore and fight your way through four dangerous dungeons filled with dangerous traps, devious puzzles, and magical artifacts. Survive all four dungeons by unlocking new abilities and items that can help Sir Ludalot conquer his enemies. Night and Plus is a classic adventure game inspired by many of the amazing masterpieces from the 90s, a la uh, Legend of Zelda. So if you like Legend of Zelda, you'll probably like this game as well. It features classic adventure gameplay. Uh, tongue and cheek story, uh, stylish pixel art graphics, groove to a catchy original soundtrack while exploring. So here we go, guys. Make sure you blast the like button for us. Comment below, subscribe. Diving into some Night and Plus here on the Nintendo Switch. All right. Honestly, I uh, had played the game a little bit beforehand before this preview and impressions, just to. Uh, get a feel for it, and there's actually a fairly challenging area in the first dungeon on 1-1. So we're going to do a new game here. Um, we got some options here. You can uh, make the music louder or lower, sound effects, English, auto saves. We have stats on too. Stats show up on the bottom of the screen for a number of deaths and your timing, that kind of thing. So if we can do some speed running, you can do that as well. I can also change controls here. Um, make sure we're on default. We'll go back here. And uh, new game. All right, Knight and Plus. So again, guys, if you're interested uh, in like Legend of Zelda, maybe dungeon type games, this game is for you. This takes the dungeons from Legend of Zelda basically, and that's what it's all about. Just the dungeons. Kind of a throwback to the 90s, as they said. You're not here to read this crap, am I right? That is right. But you want to hear a story anyway. We're going to skip that little part because, well, I just want to show you guys some gameplay of the dungeons. All right, so you have four dungeons here again. Uh, you only have one unlocked. That's where you first start. So here, uh, there's look one boss. There's six items to get, four keys, and 11 chests. So for completionist's sake, uh, you can kind of see your stats there. All right, here we're at 1-1. One, one. So the D-pad moves you around, or L. See the uh, floor here, show you the controls. It's kind of cool. Pretty cool tune. All right, we got our first chest here. You can interact with it by pushing A, and we get our sword. Super sharp sword, swing it towards your foe. All right, haven't won yet, repeat it. This little um, spot here is where your game saves, the bigger icon. All right, so we have to push Y here to attack these little shrooms. And we're locked in here too, so we gotta fight. I think about one swipe, there's some gold left behind, so do collect the gold. I think it does go towards you automatically, but make sure you do grab it in case it doesn't go towards you. So make sure you get all the gold you can. So open up the top part, we'll go up here. Got some flying skulls to take care of, they're pretty easy. They crisscross to be careful towards you. Give your swing there early on. Alright, moving across the dungeon here. So yeah, it looks just like Legend of Zelda, doesn't it? The top down view, I love it. Got a whole bunch of coin. All right. Look out for these shooting spears from the floor. These spikes. All right, so they do sell some things here. You can get some refills on your um, health. The key is 50. Uh, max health is that. Bigger potion is 150. And a pendant. So like it gives you some armor or something. So we only have 34 as far as money goes, so we can't do anything yet. We do have to buy a key. So make sure we get all these enemies killed. We're locked in here with some skulls and mushrooms. Making a salad today for ourselves. And why not? Oh, jeez. Come on back over here. I'm going to chase this guy down. There we go. Slicing and dicing. All right. Doors are open <coughs> once again. I got a game save here. We can just walk through these after they retract back in. 
So a little bit of a puzzle here. All right, so there are six purple pillars and there are eight little spots here on the floor. They light up when you go over them and you can change the order. So I'm thinking we have to light up six of these to have these lowered to get that chest, right? So I was trying all kinds of things here. Lighting up three here and three here. You know, but nothing was happening, so... I spent some time. Quite a bit of time, actually. It's kind of a challenging puzzle early on. And I thought maybe these things on the floor had something to do with it. But this is just really decoration here, so don't look at that. This throws you off. It's not Morse code or anything like that. We gotta go up to the next room. Uh, one one here does tell you what to do. And it's in a previous room here. Alright, so this previous room where the enemies were at. See this little smiley face here? That's the same face on those little uh, platforms you light up. And notice this little layout here. One and two on the diagonal. And then here, one and two on the diagonal. So you gotta light up four of these in that room. That same pattern. So you watch. Alright, get past this safely. You're gonna save it. Automatic save, nice. Okay. So it was the first ones there, those two. Make sure you keep them lit, don't go back over them. And there you go. We can get through our chest now. We got a key. Alright, golden key. Obviously it opens a door with a golden lock. So there is a door here. And let's see, we got 43 coins. Let's head uh, across here. We have to go over and down because we didn't do that yet. Look out here. <coughs> Avoid those. I really enjoy the uh, the soundtrack here. It's kind of groovy. Really fits the uh, this first dungeon. All right. So we start on the left. You see um, above the uh, level there, little map. It's good to use, so keep a note of that. All right, got some more mushrooms and skulls. Let's attack these guys here. They're coming right for me. You see that? So don't you attack my friends, but we did. And, oh, all right. So, all right, we got these doors open. Over here, you see we have some more pillars here, but I was trying to move these. You can't do that like in Legend of Zelda. That's not the puzzle here. There's a staircase to the left, so I think we have to come in through that way to get that chest, so let's go back over here. All right, we have the lock. We're going to open it. Perfect. All right, and we'll be heading, I think, upstairs here into this dungeon to 1-2. All right, we're at 1-2 now. Automatic save there when you enter the level. All right, so we're starting in the bottom corridor. Let's go to the right here. That'll give us a look. Look, see? Got some big blobs. These guys take two hits, and they're pretty quick. Uh, so knock them back a little bit, and then gain some... Momentum and take them out again. Another locked door here, a golden lock, so if you're looking to get a key or buy a key, I don't know. Alright, there's some more stairs here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go across though. Oh gee, oh jeez! You know what? I just ran right into that. Took a half a hit there in my health. Got a mixture of slimes. Some shroomies, and uh, these flying skulls. Alright, get my health back. There we go. Nice. So they just drop some health, too, for you. We could have used that when we needed it. Alright, so this staircase goes to the 1-1 uh, one, one level. This is how we mentioned earlier on. And here we get a sh... Oh, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a key. Okay, I thought it was a shield. We do get a shield here at some point. These enemies are back. Use all these coins. Collect them. Save your money. Alright. I'm not gonna let you guys take my health away now. Get back over here. You don't have to kill him. Oh, jeez. Took two hits from that guy. Yikes. Alright. So we can get some health back. Key is 50. We're gonna buy. So we have two keys now. Not sure if it was necessary, you know, but... Alright, look at this here. So, 
You can only get to this chest through that staircase, so we're going to avoid that. And again, you want to look at all of the rooms too, like the floor here. We have a little smiley face again here, and there'll be more puzzles. So always look for some clues as you're scouting about. Yep, that goes right there. Okay, so we got to go around here somewhere, guys. <clears throat> want to watch your health. So a little shop area has some different music too. That's kind of cool. Now we're patient. We were streaming through this room earlier on, and we got ourselves into a bind. Uh, some slimes, some flying skulls. Oh, jeez! Alright, so here, these things, yeah, they do shoot at these fireballs in like a left, right, up, down formation, so uh, be very careful. And when we get our shield here, you can block that. It doesn't deflect off at all, it just blocks it from, and it kind of saves you from dying. So we're gonna kill the other guy. I think we'll open the door for us, it should. Yeah. Any coin? Alright, we're gonna go up here. Alright, so here we are. Um, we gotta go down, I think, to the other quarters in the right half of this 1 2 area of this dungeon. Oh, geez. Okay, that opens up. That's a surprising attack, actually. Because you don't see it until you move into the room, when those things pop up the little towers and start shooting you. Okay. We got some stairs. I'm not going to use those yet. Is that somewhere we came in? I, I forget. I already got blobs, so... Give me a heart. Or some health, I should say. Nothing. All right, we got keys, though, so we'll use one of them to go into this door. <coughs> Alright. I think we get our, um... Was it L and 2L? Hmm. Cool, we got our shield. Shield of protection. Place it in front of anything dangerous. So you push the L shoulder button there for your shield. I'll show you how it works. See, so just whoop, we gotta get into the line, the line of fire here. And it just you know takes the damage there, protects you. We're gonna walk past here. Gotta save here, nice. All right, look out. Whole bunch of coin. All right, automatically collected. Nice. We're gonna save. Holding our shield out. When you do walk with your shield, you're a bit slower than normal. So make sure you know that. Bunch of shrooms in a formation. Mine. Okay. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> some more of these crossfire here. That actually scared me. Uh, I was not ready for it, honestly. Get back over here. They like to crawl near where it shoots out. You see that? I'm getting into some trouble there with it. Alright. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm at where I'm at. Let's go to the right here. I need to go to the right first. Alright, we're going to walk. To explore this area. Okay, we got some more. All right, uh, let's see. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't. I need to see a floor pattern here. I see a smiley face here. I'm not sure this room would would be the the clue. We got four pillars and a smiley face. We'll just test the outer ones here. That's not it. All right. So we're gonna go exploring around here. Um, see if we can find some clues. We're looking for these um, kind of these faces here, and that should give us some areas where we can learn about getting some clues. Um, Oh my gosh, taking some damage there. Not good. Alright. Another smiley face. Did we go down here? I don't know if we were. And we were. Okay. Because remember on the 1-1 level there, the clue room was not right next to that uh, puzzle room. It was like a room over. So, you know, keep that in mind. Let me make sure I know what's... I forget what's over here. 
Just taking a look. So we need a smiley face here again in two pillars. All right. Um, maybe we'll count number of smiley faces. That's two smiley faces I've saw so far. Back to one one. Let's see if we can get a, some health back here at least. There we go. Get some more coins here too. We do have one key again. All right, so I see there's two smiley faces. There's one there. Does it tell me anything? I don't really know by this little formation here. In that one room, what room was that where we saw the two L and the L? Was it like, uh, it said something on the floor. Go over here. Whoa! You see him come for me like that? Alright. That scares me when the gold flies to you. I thought it was one of the beams of, uh... Alright. We got another smiley face. Is that three smiley faces we've seen? Where does this go? to 1-3. Alright, so that stair goes to 1-3. I don't want to go to 1-3 yet. we got to solve the other puzzle. I wouldn't think the puzzle for 1-2 here would be on 1-3. I don't think it's going to be like that. Four smiley faces. So you don't, you, know, you don't see these smiley faces in every room, by the way. So... here. Look out. Oh, you know what this is? This could represent all of the corridors, all of the rooms in this 1-2 level. And then all the smiley faces in each room. And I'm not sure. Oh my. That's probably what it is. Alright, we're going to backtrack and remember what rooms these are in. Because that's exactly, we have a 4x4 four, four four grid here, or a 4x3, it's 12. And a 4x3 grid there of 12 rooms in the dungeon. That's probably what it is, so 4x3. Alright. Second one in. So we can mark this, and let's see. Will it stay marked? If not, we have to remember exactly. Okay, it looks like it stays marked. Alright, so we're going to go across the top. And then we're going to go down to the bottom. All right. So second to the top, we got one. Second to the top. This goes downstairs. Second to the top. Got to deal with these guys again. Oh, turn around! Okay. <laughs> Gonna go here. Second to the top. All right, lower left. Second to the top, lower left. Get back over here. So I want some heart, some health. Second to the top, lower left. One here, too. So, all right, lower left, two, second one in. Lower left, two, second one in. Watch me forget now, right? Nothing here. We got stairs here. And one down here. Okay. And one in here. 
Oh my gosh, we got hit. Oh my gosh, I'm in a hurry here to get over here. All right. Wasn't there like two here? Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm not sure we did it right. Oh, you know what? Am I, did I hit the right one? I think it's this one. There we go. We did it. All right, cool. Yeah, I forgot this one here. So it's exactly what it is. This grid here represents the actual one, two, entire dungeon area. And you guys see what the smiley faces are. All right, we got big red potion. Proves health and side effects known. So we got four little uh, circles of health now, guys. That's cool. I'm running all over those now. So we're gonna go. I think the stairs are all the way across to go to one three. We're gonna save our game here. And if you want to see more of Night and Plus on the Switch, uh, make sure you guys comment below, uh, hit the like button for, share the video as well, and uh, subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see more of this game, again, Night and Plus on the Switch, what you can do is this. Leave us a comment uh, under the video here. Let us know. And what we'll do is we'll play some more of this game. We'll finish up uh, this game in episodes. Hopefully get the first dungeon here. Get, get to the boss, possibly, as well for next episode. We don't know. I'm very excited, though. Pretty cool game. So if you like dungeon games, Zelda games, retro style, do check out Night and Plus on the Switch. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you back here next time.